and I never expected the Lord to respond, but He did. And in my heart, God clearly said, you're in a wilderness. And uh, I shared that with this one sister. She just happened to, she said, I really wanted to get a hold of you. And I said, you know, the Lord spoke to me. This is what He said. And it's almost like, you know, the Lord has, a, the Lord's doing something in my life. And she said, well, Eric, are you in a wilderness because you put yourself in there? Or did God lead you? And I couldn't even answer that. And I realized, even though I didn't, like what she said months after I realized I've walked into my own wilderness. I'm truly backslidden. This is a terrible place. And then the work of grace began, you know, with that, in that place of honesty. And God made precious the, the wondrous things that I once had. You know, and uh, it's amazing. We, we owe it all to Jesus. But, um, man, that, that place was hard, I'm telling you. The people there were so hard. I remember this one guy, um, he was going to go on vacation. i got to get some gas here. He was going to go on vacation, and he said, man, I'm going to get wasted. That was the last thing he said. Vacation's done. Two days are passed. He, he should have been at work on Monday, and he's not there. The, the work itself, the, 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 uh, the guy that was head of security had to go to his apartment and they found him dead in the bathtub. Jeez. He had drunk himself to death, and he, had, he dr was so drunk he slipped in the in the tub, oh. and he, he fell on his head. So sad. Yeah, and that was his very that was his that was almost like a statement of joy. I'm gonna get wasted. Yeah, definitely got wasted. And that was the last time I saw him. And there was another guy that was there, that was um, always giving me a hard time. And and once I had rededicated my life to the Lord. I saw him outside of that place, and um, I just wanted to witness to him. And he was mocking me. He wouldn't even allow me five minutes. I was just like, I didn't even care about what he had done in the past to me. I put it all aside. I was just concerned about his soul. And within one, not even one year of that encounter, and he was only in his 50s, he had a heart attack and he died. Yeah. And I've seen a lot of people die in that place. Walking off into eternity. Yeah. So the, the sad reality, the pain for me is I wasn't walking with God then. And I look back and I say, Lord, what an opportunity I would have had. If I could have had that candlestick, if I could have had that joy and that testimony, that I could have been a witness to these men. How many of these men died and they went out without eternity and I was placed there and I wasn't able to give them any hope. So it's costly, right? When we're not living the life. We could be, I think you touched upon it on Sunday. We could be, we ourselves as Christians could be the reason why someone goes to hell by not stop being a witness. And you know what? Some people don't want to accept that, right? That's why they think, you know, they want to get sometimes into reform. I'm not totally against all reform teaching, but sometimes, you know, they want to jump into that ship because, well, whoever's going to get saved is going to get saved. And uh, it's not... It's not, it's, not, it's not me. It's totally in, in, in the hands of God. I still believe what the Word of God says. You know, he said, I, I search for a man. That's very tragic. <laughs> it's a big burden also. Well, look what happened with Jonah, right? I mean, he's running from God. God sends this storm. It affects everybody. And it does when you're not walking with God. Other people have to suffer. And then they have to wake him up. He's sleeping. He doesn't even know what's going on. They're more in tune. And they say, call on your God. Right? And um, then he just comes out. He says, you know what? I'm a Hebrew. And I believe in the one who made the dry land and the sea. Then they got scared. And he had to cast himself on the waters. Like, you know, represents casting herself to the Lord. Just think of gas.